morning, good morning, good morning. Today's Sunday, about 8.30. We went to the Stell unit yesterday. And this mighty man of valor gave me this little prayer. It was an honor and a privilege. Jean Russell got to go. She gave me this card when I was in prison. Jesus and me loves you. Like I told the men, she gave me her phone number. <clears throat> Brother Les gave me his phone number. Eddie B., Boyd Harold. you know, I might lose my phone, but I guarantee you, almost anybody and everybody that's important to me or that I meet that I want to hook up with later on, I get their business cards. I'm old school. You know, but uh, either or, I went back to Bill Glass. This is my first time is how I met Charles Fisher. And, you know, before we used to collect garbage. That's the first time I met Charles Fisher, Life on the Rock, my brother in Christ that day. In all reality, that's the day I met Laura too. You know, but we keep things that are important to us. <clears throat> And like I told the men, I said, look, in y'all's Bibles, you know, in the old days, we used to write down gang numbers and all this garbage, right? But today we need to understand, show me where your treasure lies and there lies your heart, Clifford. I, you know, I, I meet men of valor, I meet men of substance, and I want, I want their numbers. I want to collect their numbers. Here's Randy's number, you know. I got Boyd Harold, Eddie B. You know, I've got contacts, different numbers of people that I love. Associates. And like I told him, I said, look, um, you're going to keep what's important to you. You know, back in the old days, when you left the county jail, probably still today, you can't take nothing but your Bible. And I don't understand that for the life of me. You can't read the Bible in school, but when you leave county jail to go to the Texas Penitentiary, that's all you can take is your Bible. But, um, I don't know. Seems like President Trump's trying to bring Jesus and God back into this place, so, into this country, and it's, it's all God's will and His power and His might, but anyway, man, he gave me this prayer, and <clears throat> we did the service, and like I told him, I said, man, you write down our number. You call us. When you come home, we want to help you. We, we want to come alongside you and mentor you. But, you know, long story short, it's a powerful service. Jean Russell did her little skit, her, her songs, glorifying Jesus. Her pastor, Ed, Edwin. Charlie Young came up, preached a powerful message. And um, we were supposed to go till 2.30. Nobody told us otherwise. Then the sergeant calls me and Brother Charles out and says, Hey, um, man, they filed agreements, so they need to go to rec. Okay, well, what do we need to do? You know, we tell Charlie, hey, I whisper in his ear, we need to be out here by 1 o'clock. We wrap it up. He prays over the men. We do an altar call. I don't, I don't do a head count, but three or four or five men come to Christ for the first time, salvations. So I don't want to just go preach one message. I want to go back. <clears throat> and God's divine favor, the CO said, hey, man, y'all can go set, set your stuff out on the rec yard, man. Run the extension cord out the window and just do it like that. But, you know, we did that. And someone filed a agreement, so they all have to go to rec at 1 o'clock. Charles thinking, man, that's wishy-washy. That don't sound right. But everybody, wheelchair, blind, walking, crutches, walkers, had to go to the rec yard for 15 minutes of stretching. They since they filed a grievance, now everybody gets to go, has to go to rec. But either or, we go out there, seven started. She was fine all morning, then she was kind of like dry heaving. We go out there, she coughs up blood. <clears throat> so we shut that down. Every member on the team, Charles Fisher, Norman Garrett, Laura, Nicole, Nikki Fisher, all of them were like, hey, man, let's go. Let's go. 
So we found a vet 40 miles away in Conroe. We go there, $630, seven's a lot better. Norman prayed over and he prayed over this little puppy, man, and she stopped coughing blood up. She stopped dry heaving. We took her to the vet anyway, but look at this prayer. <clears throat> Father God, I just want to say thank you for the servants that you've placed in my life, my co-laborers, my prayer warriors, and people that lift me up in prayer, Father God. I just want to say thank you, and thank you for the, the vets, and thank you for everything, and water those seeds that Charlie Young planted yesterday, Lord. Father, John eight thirty, John twelve thirty two says, If you, Jesus Christ, be lifted up, you will draw all men unto yourself, Father God. Have your way with them men, Lord Jesus. And if it be your will, O oh Lord Jesus, let us go back and just water them seeds. And Father, we thank you and we praise you and we love you. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Warrior's Creed. I am a warrior. Look at that. I am a warrior in the army of God. The Lord Jesus Christ is my commanding officer. The Holy Bible is my code of conduct. Faith, prayer, word are my weapons. I've been taught by the Holy Spirit, trained by experience, tried by adversity, tested by fire. I'm a volunteer and I'm enlisted for eternity. I will either retire in this army or die in this army, but I will not go out, sell out, be talked out, pushed out. I am faithful, reliable, capable, dependable. If my God needs me, I'm there. I'm a warrior, not a baby. I do not need to be pampered, padded, primed up, pumped up, picked up, pepped up. I'm a warrior. No one has to call me, remind me, write me, visit me, entice me, lure me. I'm a warrior, not a wimp. I'm in place saluting my king. Thank you, Jesus Christ. You are our king, Lord Jesus. Obeying his orders, praising his name, building his kingdom. No one has to send me flowers, gifts, food, cards, candies, give me handouts. I do not need to be cuddled, cradled, cared for, catered to. I'm committed. I cannot have my feelings hurt bad enough to turn around. I cannot be discouraged enough to turn me aside. I cannot lose enough to cause me to quit. When Jesus called me into this army, I had nothing. If I end up with nothing, I still come out even. I win. My God will supply all of my needs. My God will supply all of my needs. I am more than a conqueror. I will always triumph. I can do all things through Christ. Devils cannot defeat me. People cannot dis delusion me. Weather cannot lure me. Sickness cannot stop me. Charles has been going from day one, ever since he started cancer treatments. Battles cannot beat me. Money cannot buy me. Government, governments cannot silence me. Hell cannot handle me. I'm a warrior. Even to death cannot destroy me. For when my commander calls me from this battlefield, he will promote me to captain. I'm a warrior in the army. I'm marching, claiming victory. I will not give up. I will not turn around. I am a warrior marching heaven bound. When they called for Seven's parents, all five of us went to the room. None of them said nothing. They said, let's go. They didn't cry. They didn't snivel. Oh, now we got to spend. We didn't get home till 10 o'clock last night. <clears throat> We left at 645, but you know what? I don't care. As long as we're preaching Jesus, we're living according to his word, and lost souls are coming to Jesus. Luke 15, 1. There's more joy in heaven over one sinner than repents than 99 just persons that need not repentance. I want to thank this clinic. <clears throat> Nikki called somebody. This is God's divine favor. Yeah, 630 bucks. I don't care, man. That's my dog. Um, Nikki called one clinic. And the lady said, well, I'm just here doing paperwork. Where are you at? So Nikki threw me on the phone. We're in Huntsville. She said, go to Conroe. They're open 24 hours a day. You know, and I'm giving her the medicine because the doctor said so. 
It's like Charles is going to cancer treatments because the doctor said so. <clears throat> I just want to say, man, if you're a warrior and you're in the armies of the living God, God bless you. I love you. I want to thank the ministry team that God has placed in my life. I've got to see Charlie Young and more so than anything, Nikki, Charles, Norman, Laura, myself got to get fed by Charlie and Edwin and got, got to watch Miss Jean Russell do her thing for Jesus. I'm fixing to get up, get dressed. I'm fixing to go into the house of the Lord. I'm going to go to Glenview Church and watch the Lord sing in the choir and the preacher preaches a good word. I just want to say, man, if you're, this is the warrior's creed. Are you a warrior in the army of the God, the living God, the living, breathing God? There is no turning back. There is no turning back. Because look what he says right here. He said he's perplexed, crushed on every side. He said he's perplexed, crushed on every side. But you know something? We got to understand something. It wasn't easy to get up and go get drunk and go get high and go live like an animal all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? That took a lot of patience. That took a lot of determination to go do that. So if we can give Jesus Christ a fraction of that, if we can give Jesus Christ a fraction of that, He says right here that he's persuaded. Look what he says. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, pearl swine. For it is written, for thy sakes are you killed all day long. You are accounted of those who go to slaughter. Yes, yea, yes. And all these things, we are more than conquerors. Through him, Jesus Christ, that love does. For I'm persuaded that neither death nor life, angels, principalities, powers, things present, things to come, high depth, nor any creature, nor any creature shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Romans 8, 35 through 39. What would you let separate you? From the love of God in Christ Jesus. It says right here nothing. Angels, death, height, width, powers, present, things to come. Any other creature, nothing should be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Man, God bless y'all, man. And y'all keep seven in prayer. I'm giving her a medication and she's on a special rice and chicken diet. She's going to love that. But man, God bless y'all. I love y'all, man. Y'all keep that Estelle unit in prayer. Keep life on the rock. Peculiar treasure. and The answer ministry. These are just names that we use to tell the, the, the inmates. and the, 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 the They're not inmates. They're the men of valor that were coming. You know, these are just names that we use. You know, like I told Charles Fisher, look, I don't care. I got Nikki Fisher's card. Charles Fisher's his ID. I don't care about a name. All I care about is the name and blood of Jesus Christ. That's it. Father, we love you and we praise you and we thank you, Father. It's in the name and blood of your son, Jesus. Amen. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Are you a warrior in the army of the... This is the Warrior's Creed. God bless y'all.